hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we will be setting up for the month of april i know march has been very chaotic with the severe case of the coronavirus and everyone in curfew and the lockdown i just i don't know i just wish for everyone's safety and i'm sending all my love and prayers to everyone Now, for the theme for this month, I decided to go with hot air balloons because, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just wishful thinking that by April, all this would be over and hot air balloons just signifies being free and when you're up in the sky, it's just, it feels so peaceful for sure. I mean, personally, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but it does seem like that. I just feel like when you're picturing this in your journals and seeing this every day, that it's just a great escape from all the chaos that is happening right now. So for my cover page, I tried drawing something similar with the photo that I found over on Pinterest. Obviously, it was such a fail, but hey, I was still able to draw one. Or three to be exact. But yeah, that's basically what I did for my cover page. It's just plain and simple. Very... What's the word? Practical for my cover page. Um, I didn't really went all out this month. But yeah, I still like how it turned out. And it's just... Yeah, I'm not going adjectives for it. But yeah, that's my, my cover page for the month. Now for my background, obviously I won't be leaving it with just a white background. So I decided to draw in a somewhat peaceful sky. I just feel filled a rick a rectangle with a lighter shade of blue to signify the sky and with the cloud brush that you can find over on elements. I use white to symbolize of course the clouds. I also added in some trees at the lower left or I will be adding trees at the lower left 
just to add in a deeper color shade i was supposed to mix the pointy trees and somewhat this realistic looking ones but i decided that the pointy ones looks way better which is why i just went with that option instead And of course, lastly, to complete this whole look, I'm adding the month in bold white and black shade. Um, I just think that it finishes the cover page or the look for this cover page. Yes, finally it's time for my habit tracker. I feel like this is by far the simplest habit tracker that I've ever made. It's just a hot air balloon and obviously the sky. I also added a flowing banner where the title of the of this page rests. Of course, I also be, will be adding some quotes here and there but that's pretty much it. Pretty simple and practical. <laughs> I guess that's the flow that we're going for this month.
of course, we don't want to forget about our monthly spread. I didn't quite enjoy filling in the lily pads for March. I mean, looking at it, it's fine. But when you start doodling in, doodling in something too extra as that, uh, it didn't seem right. So I opted for a simpler one this month. I went for a 6x7 for each box. And to be honest, this is by far my favorite spread for this month. Um, in this part, you could already see the error that I've made, which is really annoying because for some reason, I always create an error with my monthly spreads. I already I knew I was supposed to erase those four extra boxes, but for some reason, I got distracted with the clouds. I don't know, but I forgot and yeah, I, I realized it way, way later when I've already um, filled in the freaking boxes <laughs> but yeah I'm good I'm going to erase that one so if you are recreating this um, take note that you sh there should be only seven days in a week okay not eight seven Honestly, I don't know how to fill in that empty space, but if I, um, I mean, if you can, leave a suggestion down in the comments down on the comments down below, and just help a fellow friend out. But yeah, that's the complete setup. Um, I didn't create any weekly spreads for this month. I wanted to create one as the days goes. Um, that's basically what I did for March, and I just enjoyed it. I'll also be posting my March flip through over on my Instagram account. So if you're not following me there just yet and you want to check it out, it's at Eunice Garner or you could just click on the on the link in the description box below and it will lead you right to it.
so yeah that's my april setup for you guys i just added a few coats to finish off the look i still haven't filled in the empty space on my monthly spread so feel free to leave any suggestions down below um as you can see for my habit tracker later on it's looking way too simple for me i don't know let me know what you guys think i still need to fill in the habits that i would want to track that month so yeah i guess i'll be filling that out on the first day of april maybe <laughs> i don't know but yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it again make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it and if you still haven't uh, make sure to click that subscribe button for more journaling and lifestyle videos again i'm yuna sending love and prayers to everyone bye guys